Hi everyone, if you're afraid of heights, this might not be the video for you. I'm going to show you how I'm removing this chimney stack from above the roof all the way down to the ground floor. I'm going to do time lapses of the work as we go to show you everything and tell you everything I've used and all the materials too, and costs more importantly. Um, let me show you a quick walk around. So here is the chimney stack that's being removed. We've got the boiler flue in there which needs to come out obviously. Um, I've had asbestos checks on that and that's all okay. It's asbestos at the very bottom, but not in the actual flue and chimney itself. And I've got this aerial to deal with. Obviously, if you're doing this at home, a scaffold tower is a must. I got this scaffold from Alpington Scaffolding in Kent, who are absolutely brilliant. I literally wouldn't do it without it. As you can see, it's a long way down and it feels so reassuring to have professionals install it and make it nice and safe i've just got to tidy up this whole section here this is what i'll be using to take it down i've got my titan drill with all the necessary drill bits my easy off gloves ear defenders mask goggles knee pads in case i'm kneeling on any of these tiles here and a hammer and bolster just in case as well really cool views of the house up here it was terrifying coming up the steps but now i'm up here it's so cool being up high and seeing all the views around here nice and leafy for our future home and um, let's get cracking wish me luck
it's finished. As you can see behind me, I'm glad to say after four days of removing it on my own, the chimney is completely out. Absolutely exhausting job, one of the hardest things I've ever done, but so rewarding and I'll write as I go, but I think I've saved about two and a half thousand pounds. So the scaffold tower in the front was about 380 pounds, and then I've had a grab -a lorry for 420 pounds. So about 800 pounds all in removing it. I've already owned the drill and everything like that. So about 800 pounds to remove the chimney stack all the way from the roof down to here. Um, you know, I'm really pleased with because I got some quotes and they range between three and four and a half thousand pounds. So that's a really good saving um, and I'll show you it in full. So there must be well over 2000 bricks removed. I really, really like looking the whole way up. Whoa. I like it, right. I'll show you for instance, this is about half the bricks left. And this still looks like so many. But all the bricks, well basically I'll grab a lorry's worth. Um, we're removing other stuff because we're renovating everything and digging the foundations at the moment. But you'd 100% get them all into one grab a lorry. And they're usually, well around here, they're about 350 pound plus VAT. Um, so 420 odd. So that's what you're looking for that. And there must be, I guess, I'd love to know if anyone knows this, about 2000 bricks maybe coming out of there. Um, I had the flue on the left hand side here, which saved me quite a few bricks as without that, there'd be way more. Um, and then you can see the black line of where the fireplace ran up. Um, but yeah, it must be definitely well over 1500 bricks. So it's a lot of work, um, definitely a two man job if you can do it, which I couldn't unfortunately. So this is the first floor. I'll put some befores alongside the video. And it's really opened up what will be the landing now, because it really would have just intruded on it, especially as we're not gonna use it, obviously. And then the loft, still quite a bit of clearing to do. I can show you the flue as well. So there's the flue over there. That's what it looks like coming out. And then there's the hole where the fireplace was. And I've done a very bodge membrane over the top. And it doesn't need to be any good basically because this whole roof's coming off soon. So it just needs to hold temporarily. Which amazingly it is considering I can see daylight there. I haven't really seen any water because of the rain we've had. So obviously that might be a bit, bit of an extra cost for people who are doing it properly, who don't need to, need to you know, put battens across the roof as well. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this. Um, anyone tackling it themselves, be prepared. It's a really, really tough job. One of the hardest jobs I've done, uh, but really rewarding. You can see yourself making progress every day. And like all these jobs, the hard bit is the tidying up. The tidying up probably takes twice as long as doing the actual work, but Really rewarding to see it out. It's going to make a huge difference to our home once it's all done. So um, yeah, please share if you're going to tackle it yourself. Any questions or comments, please uh, comment below the video and thanks for watching.